What's good? You got your boy Bossy Bella, aka J Reed, to those of you all who know me as such. If you are watching the news, then you know that Kanye West is set to meet with Donald Trump tomorrow at the White House. In my humble opinion, Kanye West is a sellout and a sucker. Now, I'm from Chicago, just like Kanye West is, and his mother was a teacher, a professor at the university I graduated from, Chicago State University. If you remember in 2005 with Hurricane Katrina and how Kanye reacted, he said George Bush don't care about black people. And he said that in reference to the president at the time, George W. Bush, taking a long time to get uh, items of uh, need down to Louisiana uh, where the hurricane struck uh, and primarily uh, affected uh, black people. Now Kanye West is supporting a president who, at the very least, is not against racism. And at the very worst, may be a racist himself. Kanye says that he's going to the White House to discuss uh, gang violence and how to curb it in Chicago. And he's going to discuss this with Donald Trump, the same man who just advocated stop and frisk. Stop and frisk has been an issue in New York because police just randomly pull up on people and start searching them. If you know the Constitution, then you know that people are supposed to be comfortable and safe in their own homes and in their own person, which means that we are not to be subjected to unreasonable searches, uh, especially random searches where primarily black people, especially black young men, are affected. And stop and frisk has shown that it doesn't actually work for every 1000 people they come in contact with. They may only get one person who has committed a crime or has a warrant and they are usually very minute crimes and I shouldn't have to suffer for somebody else who has a warrant. Why should I have to go through unreasonable searches just because somebody else has a warrant and you want to search the whole south side of Chicago? But that's the least of the problems. Kanye West has pretty much lost his mind. He's out of control. I don't buy his music anymore. It's meaningless. If you listen to his albums, he was all pro-black and talking about how he wanted to change black lives for the better and do all of this and that. And now he's supporting a president who, excuse me, who could care less about black people. So with that as the case, Kanye West is not only harming the black community, he's harming himself and his image. We all thought Kanye West would be the person to take Chicago to the next level and become that activist and that, that beacon of change. Only thing he's become is brainwashed and capitalistic and stuck on making himself richer than he already is. Kanye West's company is allegedly worth about maybe almost a billion dollars, $1.5 billion. He has every incentive to sell himself to Donald Trump to get lower taxes on his corporation or whatever the hell it is. So you can't really trust Kanye these days. And if you support Kanye, I feel bad for you. Kanye West is a sucker sellout and he means black people no good. You got your boy Boss Bella, AKA Jay Reed, to those of y'all who know me as such, holla.